Number 22, what is the length of a pendulum that has a period of 0.5 seconds? All right, so now this problem is actually very easy, but there might be confusion as to say, well, what formula should I use now? Right, we're given the period. So should I use the formula over here, that t is equal to two pi times the square root of m over k, or should I use the formula over here, that period is equal to two pi times the square root of l over g? Now they are both different formulas, obviously, right? And both of them kind of mean something different. This formula, the t is equal to two pi times the square root of m over k, that is used for simple harmonic motion. That's basically used for objects that have elastic or spring-like tendencies, okay? This formula here, t is equal to two pi times the square root of l over g, this is for pendulums, okay? Notice how the period of a pendulum is independent of mass. There is no mass in that formula, okay? Notice how the period of simple harmonic motion here is dependent on the mass, okay? So we, you know, simple harmonic motion, and also, right, that being mostly springs and elastic type of uh, things. So when I'm approaching a problem like this, the, the always the first thing that kind of goes through my mind is, well, what in general am I talking about? Right, I'm talking about a pendulum. So now when I write out this formula, I know I'm dealing with the formula over here, right? That I'll write it out. So I would, I would advise you to always, when you write out the formula here, talk it out. The period of a pendulum's oscillation is equal to two pi times the square root of the length of the pendulum's arm divided by g. You know what a pendulum is, right? Here's a pendulum. It's a, it's a string attached, attached to a fixed point. Right, and all that's going to happen here, right, there's something, let's just say, on the end of this, it really doesn't matter, but all that's going to happen is this thing is going to rotate, right, back and forth, back and forth. So basically, all the, I don't care what the mass is here, that's the interesting thing, right, it doesn't matter, we can, it doesn't matter what the mass is, it's just the length that's going to determine the period. So, that's why we're using, well, I mean, that's... That's why on a simple context, I mean, we can get into the, you know, the actual proving of this, but uh, let's just leave it alone for now. So it wants to find the length. So why don't we solve this thing for L, right? You got to divide out two pi. So the period divided by two pi is equal to then the square root of L over G. Notice how the form, I mean, it's very similar to the simple harmonic motion. It's just a little different. So this whole thing, we got to square both sides, right? So it's going to be t over 2 pi squared divided, then, uh, will equal, sorry, L over G, and then finding L multiply the, the G across, right? So it's just going to be this. And that's it. There's the formula. All we have to do is now plug in, all right? So it's a simple problem, but, you know, you got to consider what you're working with. So 9.8 times now the period, so 0.5, that's in seconds good, divided by two pi, and that whole thing is squared. So let's see what we get. So this is now going to be 9.8 times then parenthesis 0.5 divided by parenthesis two pi, close those parentheses, square it, and it's basically, the length of, is going to be 0 0.0621 or so. And that is in meters, okay? That's the length, and that's it. All right, simple problem, but, you know, keep in mind how to use the formulas. And when you're using formulas, state it out. State out what you're using, okay? Don't just read this formula, as I mentioned in the prior problem. Don't just read this formula as t is equal to 2 pi times the square root of L over g. No, say it out in richer detail. The period of oscillation for a pendulum is equal to 2 pi times the square root of the length of that pendulum's arm divided by g. Right, gravity. You know that g is 9.8. And that, that's how you want to think through these formulas. All right? Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please help us out and subscribe. Hit the like button. Tell your friends. We'll see you soon. Thank you.